Well, good afternoon. You know, I've lived in, uh, in this great state of Alabama now for my entire life. Uh, I grew up here. I went to college here. I raised a family here. I practiced medicine in Tuscaloosa for 35 years. And in 2010, I received the greatest honor of my life when the people of our great state elected me and chose me and humbly asked me to serve as their governor. I've always believed the honor of serving as your governor was a calling that God placed on my life. I've not always made the right choices. I've not, not always said the right things. Though I have sometimes failed, I've always tried to live up to the high expectations the people place on the person who holds this esteemed office. Though I have committed myself to working to improve the lives of the people of our state, there have been times that I have let you and our people down, and I'm sorry for that. The consequences of my mistakes have been grievously unfair to you, my loyal and dedicated staff, and my cabinet, and all of our agencies who have continued your exemplary service to our people in your respective agencies in the face of difficult circumstances. I can no longer allow my family, my dear friends, my dedicated staff and cabinet to be subjected to the consequences that my past actions have brought upon them. I have spent the last year in deep and earnest prayer over our state and our people. I pray every morning for wisdom and guidance and forgiveness for the sins that I commit. This Easter week, I'm even more grateful for a loving and merciful Savior who will always love me and you unconditionally. The governor is the face of the state in Alabama in virtually all areas, even on a national stage. And I want you to know I love our people with all of my heart, and I want nothing more than to serve them, whether in natural disasters, whether in helping four-year-olds qualify for a great pre-K program that we have here, or to just help create jobs and help them feed their families. But the time has come for me to look at new ways to serve the good people of our great state. I have decided it is time for me to step down as Alabama's governor. I'm leaving this office that I have held, that I have respected, that I've loved for seven years to focus on other and possibly more effective areas of service. I love our people in this state. I love this office. However, I realize there are things more important than a political office. I have spoken with Lieutenant Governor Ivey, and we have agreed that the people of our state need and deserve a positive and peaceful transition of power. I will be leaving the office today, April the 10th. But my administration will work with Lieutenant Governor Ivey's administration to provide any assistance needed to make a smooth transition and have minimal disruption on our state. I am forever filled with the gratitude of the honor that has been placed on me by the people of this state to serve as your governor. Especially 
I give thanks to God for such a wonderful gift that he gave me when he allowed me to be the governor of Alabama. A special gift to the wonderful, loyal, and very talented staff and cabinet and agencies who truly are the backbone of our state government. And I am forever grateful for the service each and every one of you has given to me and the sacrifices that you have made and most of all, the dedication that you have shown to making Alabama a great state. Together we've accomplished some amazing things. And I know great things are still ahead for our state. So again, let me thank you for your service. And I want to thank you for being your governor. And I also want to thank particularly all of the people across this state who every day send me texts, send me emails, tell me how much they love me, tell me how much they still care for me, and tell me that they are praying for me. So please continue to do that, and I will continue to pray for you. So thank you, and goodbye. And I love this state from the bottom of my heart and the people who live here. God bless you.